So you have a new song out. It's called Lights. I do. We're playing Thank it here you. a ton. I went and watched the music video, and I was pleasantly surprised that that is you singing. It is. It is me singing. Yeah. It's like I didn't grow up thinking like, okay, I'm going to be a singer. I'm going to be, that's going to be me. And then over the last kind of couple of years, I, I was like, Hey, this is the next transition for me. This is the next thing that's got to happen. Um, Cause I was writing all these songs that were very personal to me and lights was kind of at the forefront of that. When I, when I wrote it, it was one of those things that I was like, I can't have anybody else sing this because it's such a personal story. So you taught yourself to sing then. I did. Yeah. Um, I worked with a vocal coach super early on a, a lady named uh, Lorraine Lawson and she sort of gave me a bunch of like tips and tricks and into sort of like finding and developing a tone. Um, and then from there, it was, it was a year straight pretty much um, every day for like a few hours every day. I'd made sure I'd warm up and then I would <clears throat> basically sing covers all day, sing my own stuff all day, write songs all day. Um, Cause honestly I had nothing else to do. It was great. It was like the perfect, it was serendipity. We originally knew you as a producer. So you're a producer, you're a songwriter, you're a singer. I think I saw that you and your Girlfriend, is it that you guys together uh, produced and put together a music video? Out of all those roles, what would you say maybe is your favorite? I mean, I always come back to producing songs. Um, so like right now, like it, it always comes back to the music for me. It's like I, I've, I've started making clothes and I've started um, doing the video thing and doing all that. And like, it's just, they're all like little offshoots when I can't write a song. Um, like it's all, it's all just things to sort of keep me inspired. Um, so ultimately, like I think the production and the songwriting, um, especially for me right now is, is kind of the, the driving force behind it all. Uh, I, like I've been very fortunate to work with a bunch of really talented people over the last like year and a half. Um, and the lastly of that being um, Jessia, uh, which her song is just going absolutely crazy. I'm not pretty. It's just like, all of a sudden this colossal hit. It's wild to see something like start from TikTok and, and just sort of take off and have this like amazing body, a uh, body image connotation and, and seeing the movement behind that and seeing like a community really form behind that has been awesome, especially in such a weird time in the planet. Um, seeing people come together and be really like advocates for, for positivity has been awesome. So you now as a solo artist, what do you want people to know about you and and this next chapter my goal with my goal with my stuff is to create um like an everlasting memory of the first time you heard that song i want the songs to be like okay i want them to stand on their own or like feel like you were in that song for the time you were listening to it um i think we're all trying to create something timeless uh, but that's definitely like a, like at the forefront of my goal is like even with the production like my next single um, I can't give you a date or a name yet, but um, it's uh, it's a really, really fun one. It's like a song I wrote a year ago. Uh, I wrote the vocal for it and it was like, just like super falling in love song and I just couldn't package it properly. And then I spent <clears throat> a year listening to it, be like, I gotta do something with this. I gotta do something with this. And then a year to the uh, to the day later, I just like, I opened it up and the whole song just kind of finished itself. Like I just like, I went in and went crazy on it and it's like nothing I've ever heard before, but it is a pop song, it does its things, but I wanna, I want to make sure that it's like, it doesn't sound like anything. I don't want it to sound like an electronics track. I don't want it to sound like a singer songwriter thing. I want it to sound like me. I think I'm not the only person who wants to know this. And it's one of those questions that you want to ask, but it's like maybe a little bit awkward. Do you know what I'm going to ask? I have guesses, but just shoot your shot. Okay. What is the most unique experience that you've had having the same name almost the same name as El <sighs> the actor elijah wood duh. what duh. oh my goodness i have so many like <clears throat> yeah like my instagram is like constantly in a day with people just being like oh my god thank you so much for your performance in in Lord of the Rings, like, it was absolutely incredible. And I'm like, dude, like I'm six foot five. Like, I don't think you understand my feet are not hairy. I'm like double Elijah Wood's height, but like, they just don't do research, which is hilarious. But I think my favorite, my favorite is there was a lady at the airport one time who lost her mind reading my passport. She was like, I'm the biggest Lord of the Rings fan. I'm freaking out. Like, I can't believe, like, I can't believe you're going through my checkout. And I was like, bro, like if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, you have to know that I'm not, I'm not him. And at the time I had dark hair. So like, I'll give, I'll give that to her. But like, she must have not like registered. I was like, just because my name is similar. I mean, I'm plural Elijah Wood, but um, he is, he's, he's, he's a short man. Like not that 
yeah, like I'm just not that thing. So that was probably the weirdest one. Um, everyone else is pretty, pretty cool about it. It's kind of hilarious. Cause it's like my actual name, like, like at the time, um, like I'm old enough that at the time Lord of the Rings was not a thing. Like, I'm not like, I'm not a 19 year old where it's like, Oh, Elijah Wood was like Poffin when, when you were born, it's like, no, my, my parents just happened to name me that. So it's kind of funny how it all happened, but it's, uh, one of those things we talked about changing and I was like, nah, like, it's no, like, no, 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 I, I love it. Frodo. <laughs>